for the Facebook and Instagram ad audience, there is a strange discovery that some of us have found, which is that the audience app database is slightly different in terms of whom you can target. So let me go ahead and share my screen and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by, by this. Um, like I'm in my Facebook ads manager audiences uh, tool. I'm not going to you know, go from the start of this because I'm, I'm just talking about this issue here. So when you're creating an audience in Facebook ads manager, right, this hopefully looks familiar and you use detailed targeting. And so, for example, and I want to thank uh, Joe Miller for, for alerting me to this to this strange um, you know, discrepancy. She was trying to target people interested in embodiment or somatic therapy. And so she started typing in embodiment. Um, and of course, I, I start typing it in and there, there is no embodiment here, right? There's embroidery, embrace, embellishment. Uh, I'd start typing in EMBO, nothing. All right, uh, how about another one? How about somatic? Okay, somatic, somatic therapy, nothing. Um, also, Grace, uh, Grace uh, Yang also alerted me to a couple of others. HSP, you know, highly sensitive people. Can't target that here. Um, what about em empathy or empathic? Empathic, empathy? No, nothing. Empanada, <laughs> delicious. Um, but empathic, nothing. All right, now let me go ahead and show you um, Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to go and show you my screen. Okay. So say hello to Buddy, my dog. All right, let's go to Instagram and I'm on my profile. Uh, if I just go to my, my recent post and I click on boost post, let me, show you, let me show you the difference here. Okay, so here in boost post, I'm just gonna pretend I'm, I'm doing, a, doing an Instagram ad. I'm not gonna go through with it, but I just wanna show you the audience. I'm gonna create a new audience, okay? Um, create your own at the bottom, bottom, okay? All right, um, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about locations or, or age and gender right now. I'm gonna go to interests right there in the middle. And I'm gonna type in embody, body. Okay, why is it not working? Okay, um, of course, now that I'm trying to show you, it's not working. But um, imba embodiment. Maybe they've already removed it, but it was it was available earlier. Let me see somatic, soma at least somatics is available. So somatics, somatic psychology, those were not available in Facebook Ads Manager. What about HSP, highly sensitive people? There we go, HSP. Now, how do we know that HSP here means highly sensitive people? It's a very good question. Let's click on it. Okay, once we click on it, no, click on it. Now it gives suggested interests, personal development because personal development apparently is connected to HSP. Now let's try another one that wasn't available in the other one. Um, empathy, I think, empathy, right? Empanada was available, but not empathy. So there are somehow, and I, in the questions, well, George, how do you find out these ones that are available here, but not there? Um, I guess it's by chance. I and mean, I don't know if somebody out there on Google has made some kind of a study of this and, and made a list. I haven't, I haven't researched it, but basically these came from some of my Facebook ad students discovering this. So I hope this is helpful. And um, basically the question for you is, well, should you then use the Instagram boost post thing to reach certain interests that you can't reach on Facebook ads? Well, the drawback of Instagram boosting a post is that you can't, you can't exclude your warm audience. So for those of us who are doing a more sophisticated strategy of separating warm and cool audiences, like, okay, I'm just gonna run ads to cool. I'm gonna run some ads to warm. And then the cool audience is gonna separate the warm so that um, I can get better data about who's actually liking my stuff. Because if you, if you run an ad on Instagram, empathy, HSP or whatever, and then you get the people liking your post. How do you know who was in your warm audience and who was in the cool audience? You don't, you don't know. So for, for audience testing, this Instagram thing doesn't work. But if you just want to do a very, um, you want to use it as a blunt instrument, a very just broad, like I don't care about testing audiences. I just want to reach some people. Then apparently the Instagram database uh, allows you some additional interests. So. I hope this helps. And thanks, Colleen, for asking. Yes, you can only do the boost post for Instagram on the mobile. 
And now you might say, hmm, George, I know that if I boost posts on Instagram, it still shows up in my Facebook ads manager. Can I then edit it there for further precision? Uh, last time I tried, it, I, I can't. Now you could try it because somehow when I boost post here and then I go in and try to edit, um, in fact, let me see if I can show you. So show you an example. Um, when I try to edit, uh, I it's, it's been a while since I've boosted a post on the Instagram mobile. So I don't know if it's different now, but let me see if I can find one. Um, let me see if I can find one. Instagram post. I think this was a, this was a boost. Okay. Okay. Um, is this, was this a boost? See? Yes, this was a boost. See, I go to the ad set level and so it says this ad set was created on Instagram and cannot be edited here. Open your Instagram app to edit the original. You see? So I can't do the precision. Now, if I go to the third level, see, I can't even edit the, I can't edit the ad. I cannot edit the ad set. All I can do is edit the campaign. Um, uh, I can, I guess I can edit the budget a little, maybe. I'm not sure because the, if the ad set doesn't have some people, sometimes the ad budget, anyway, long story short is yes, what we just showed, I, what I showed you on my mobile phone can only be done on the mobile with a boost post, but then you can't further make it more precise on the Facebook ads manager, so.